Okay, RV greenies, we're gonna fill up some water. So this is the water tank in here. This is the valve to, well, um, you'll see some water will turn up, you know, start coming out. So winterizing and what, whatnot, or maybe you want a fresh tank of water. This comes from the water pump, um, which is over here. So we don't have the pump on right now because we're pressurized. <clears throat> so make sure the water pump is off when you're uh, filling up. So over here, we're gonna use the little key to open up the water thing and that's where we add water so we're gonna do that we're gonna just add a little bit of water because every gallon of water is eight pounds so we don't want to fill it up crazy but it's amazing that um, even right around here which is just under the uh, fourth tank um, it could get us pretty far obviously that's not like showering but that's like enough to do dishes and and, and a few things but um, obviously that's like for maybe one day or something like that so keep that in mind when you're traveling uh, and if you know you're gonna have water at your end destination maybe no, you just don't even need that much you know just for flushing and whatnot so there we go okay so this is where the pump is the water pump this is a little filter um, I actually just cleaned it out just the other day so it's pretty good um, this is the water tank as you can see here and obviously in cold conditions we are not going to want water in there and even in these pipes i actually added this tubing to try to protect it just a little bit but uh, we don't want the water in there when it's cold now have you even heard of flash freezing where the water could be in the pump and you're going over an overpass and it could freeze instantly um, so want to be careful with that we obviously don't want the turn the pump on while there's frozen water in there. Okay, so we showed you how to hook up the water directly outside to the pressure regulator and the white hose, the reason for the white hose, so we don't get it dirty, you know, try to keep it clean. Don't mix it with or use it to clean out the sewer hoses, things like that. Um, we want it very sanitary, obviously. Um, also, uh, when you're hooked up to the regular or city water, or whatever, um, you don't need the pump on. This is where the switch is to turn the water pump on. You obviously can have the water heater on if you want hot water. It heats up fairly fast. I would say like five minutes. It's actually heating up water pretty quick. Um, and then this is the water pump. You actually can, you can hear it just a little bit. I don't know if you were able to hear that, but that's the water pump. Uh, you might get a little bit of spurts once in a while. Um, that's normal water spurts. I think I've already, it's primed. When you turn the water on, you'll hear the water pump a little bit kind of vibrating or whatever. So that's normal. Um, you may not want to use the water pump while driving. You could, you can kind of use it, but like, I don't know, air could get in and then you could go into hydrolock. And, but that's maybe not very likely. Um, anyway, so those are a few things with the water. Also, you want to turn off the water heater when you're moving and only use it ah, when yes. you're not. Yes, technically the only thing that will draw propane is actually the refrigerator. And partly that's because there's a shield on it and it's protecting the flame. So the refrigerator will work while driving. Other appliances, I guess, are not um, or can't be drawing from the propane to be running. So, so just turn them off. Turn them off. is a um, vent on the outside. You want to keep that clear. You don't want to be blocking it or have other plastic or other flammable things in front of it because there are some exhaust. Keep kids away from that. Uh, it does get pretty warm. Um, and so that's the exhaust. Okay, so this is the uh, water heater vents and assembly. And you want to stay clear of this. Make sure that this is um, you know, you're not close to something else. This does get pretty hot. You also want to keep kids away. Hey kids, keep away. You don't want to be over here. So that's where the water heater is. There are um, other things in here. Uh, this is to drain it for whatever reason. That's more to winterize it. And I just leave this, these in here so that I can use that if I ever need to drain it. But this is the hot water um, assembly. So there's some Okay, so this is the shower, and you are gonna see me get in the shower. Yay! Anyway, 
It actually fits me, believe it or not. Maybe ducking a little bit to get get a little water on, but it works. I tried it. It's awesome. And he's However, six, six. Yeah, I'm so six, six. That gives so you I can actually stand up. Um, the shower is fragile though, so be careful. Um, it's not your, yeah, it's just a nice lightweight shower. Something that happened to us. Um, we were actually storing blankets in here. Uh, again, the shower's fragile, so we're not storing heavy stuff in here, especially while you're driving. And also, please don't shower while you're driving. Um, anyway, we put some blankets in here and it hit one of the knobs. When we turn the water pump on, all our blankets are wet. So that was fun. So anyway, be aware of that. Make sure your handles are up and on the in the closed position. And there's the shower. All right, we're gonna have an awkward conversation in the bathroom. Normally we don't talk a lot in the bathroom, but let's take care of business. All right, so this is the toilet. Um, this, if you pull back on this lever halfway, it'll start filling up with water. Obviously the water pump needs to be on in order to have the water come and do that. Uh, and then go all the way and it'll flush it. I usually like to add a little water just to make sure that, uh, I don't know, that's what I like to do, especially if the next person uses it. You got a little water in there to, you know what. Um, you'll want to use specially designed toilet paper so it doesn't clog or stick or whatever to the walls inside the tank, or the black tank. So this is special RV or marine type toilet paper. You'll see it. This is one kind of brand. Uh, another kind of brand that's special for RV and marine toilet systems. So uh, um, if you run out, um, please make sure you get that kind of toilet paper uh, for this. So also we'll put some in to get you started, but there won't be a ton. Which, yeah. I got these nice handy porta packs. This will help um, prevent uh, odors and uh, kind of break down the waste and all that kind of stuff. So you can just uh, unzip one of these and drop it down in. Obviously that is for when you're not hooked up. If you're going to be, um, you know, there's a lot of waste down there. You'll want to throw one of those in there and that'll help clean the tank or keep it clean somewhat and deodorize and all that kind of stuff. So if you're full hooked up and you're in an RV park, Obviously, you don't need to worry about that because it's going straight down all the way into their sewer system or whatever. So there's a couple notes. Oh, just also this door is kind of weird, but we kind of keep the, some cleaning supplies back in there. Um, I actually do have another type liquid type, um, you know, stuff that you can you can put in the tank. And I don't need, I don't put that much in, but we don't have a lot of waste that's in it right now. I still actually need to go down. So. Um, Anyway, so, uh, but, but you only need to really do that once. You don't need to do that. Obviously when you dump, you'll need to put some more in. I'd prefer you just make it easy and throw this stuff in it. You're welcome to use the other stuff if you want to, but you don't need both. So there's a few things about the RV toilet.